Hello everyone, this is Recon Stewart and I am flying a reconnaissance mission with my good buddy Reb from the 476th. It uh, won't be a lot of action, but uh, definitely some procedures and gaining intelligence uh, on the enemy. Let's get going. Ford 1-1, one, one, beat me, 2-1. Go ahead, Bam. Uh... Reb, do you guys have an initial target to go straight in, or are you going to uh, orbit and, and uh, do some recon first? I'm going to orbit uh, to the east of uh, Hitachi, about 20 miles for a few moments of orbit. Then I'll be going up to that lake north, and that'll be my first turn point north, headed south. But I'm going to stop before I get there. I'm going to stop around the IP and orbit a little bit. Uh, Beamer 2-1, copy all. I, I, uh, I'm afraid if I make it my first run, I'm going to call it the big. I just didn't want to screw it up for you guys if you had a target already set. It looks like I need to come in pretty much due east to my target. My targets are just north of, of one of those roadblocks uh, is where it is, Rep. So I'm just going to go straight in before any big take off and try to get some shots off and uh, egress and see what happens. Roger. Two, let's go ahead and fence in. We got aircraft in the area. Fence in now. And two, I didn't hear that call, so. All right, I'll tell you, we've got aircraft in the area. You on uh, uh, mid four? A firm. Okay, see that happens sometimes. Why, I don't know. But go ahead and fence in. Go ahead and get EOs hot. Go ahead and back off to wedge. Two. We're going to start a descent because we want to get low. Descending now. ITT at 700. Descending at 7 down. Beamer 1, Ford 1. Beamer 1, Ford 1. We've got aircraft at 30,000 feet and flanking. Make sure your lights are turned off. We're going to descend to 5,000. Two. I see smoke at 12 o'clock. Ford 1 1, Beamer 2 1. Go. I, I uh, tried to make a gun run, couldn't find the target, and, and I think I got hit by a couple of man pads on the way out. So I lost one engine and some of the CPU, so I'm going to limp on home uh, for the man pads. Roger that. Were you near that roadblock? I was north of the roadblock. I was targets worth that uh, coordinate I, I gave you. Yeah, I see some burning up there. Yeah, the first three shots, one of the guys moved enough to the, the muscle for some reason didn't track him very well. It hit near him, but didn't kill him. And so I had to go in the, 
the second run and got that one. There's another one. I turned to make another run with a gun, but he ran into the woods. I couldn't see him when I pulled off and started to egress, and I got several, uh, I'm sure, man pad shots. Two to one. I've got eyes on a, looks like a infantry vehicle. Just to the uh, right of that smoke near a road. Right down the coordinates. <clears throat> That's what we're doing. Two checking right. I'll give you a hitting in a minute. And two, I've got the coordinates on that. BMP. All right, I'll get them from you in a second. We're gonna turn to uh, due north, three six zero. Oh, I found some good targets. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're to the uh, west of us. Look like uh, mobile artillery. Oh, yeah. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight targets. Two, I might have found the same target. My uh, out, my uh, coordinates are two, six, three, break, seven, six, five. Two, negative. I've got. Uh... BMPs on a road, not moving. All right, how many? Some massed by trees, but at least three of them. Very good. Take down the coordinates. I think I've located some more. This might be by the airport. Right down the coordinates. Yeah, you're looking way out there. That's good. I can't tell what they are, but they're definitely a lot of trucks and armor, it looks like. Very good. That's what, we, that's what we really like to hit is armor. Anything that's armor, especially artillery and tanks. But any type of armor fighting vehicle, that's what we like to take out. That's what can cause our land forces problem. I got one more target I want to check as I come around. I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do. That roadblock, there's a bunker on one side of the road with troops around it and a Ural pickup or a Ural supply truck. Then directly across the road, there's a, some sort of armored vehicle and a tower. Now I'm gonna put a GBU-12 right in the middle of that road between the uh, Ural and that IFV. That will take out the infantry and probably take out that truck and it could take out that IFV. In other words, I'm gonna try to get the most out of that one bomb instead of just targeting one vehicle I know that 500 power pounder has got a good kill radius, so I'm going to try to put it right between them. Copy that. Can you broadcast the speed for me? I sure will. Stand by point.
point captured. Alright, just make it a mark point. If you zoom in, you can you can see the bunker and you can see the uh, guard tower across the road. There's an IFV right there at the base of the guard tower. And over amongst that little bunker area, there's a, a Ural uh, supply truck and there's some troops right around that building. All right, we're 24 miles from him. We're going to turn back in and we're going to, I'm going to uh, turn west because I want to make a south-north run. I do not want to go straight in from the east to the west because that will carry us into missile range of some of the bad guys over towards Katasi. So I'm going to check right to heading 270 now. going to be a hard turn, 60 degree bank. Now you can swing left or right in that wedge position, you know, you don't have to stay on one side. Two, copy that. Wings level, 270. We're going to climb. I want to get a book and pads uh, kill area. All right, we got a we got a bogey at 100 miles at 30,000 feet, and he's flanking us. I mean, he's not coming at us or coming away. Two. Now we're going to climb through 10,000 feet, but we'll leave our barometric pressure set as is because we're only going to be up there for just a short period. Two. I'm going to check left to heading 260 now. Two six zero. got one in sight? Two. Bay firm. Alright, that man ran, man, I can't even tell you, that man pad could reach up to about 11,000 feet and elevation there at that uh, bunker is uh, 436 feet or 500 feet, so we want to go to at least 12 or Push it on to 13 since I was not paying attention. We need level 13,000. Hitting 252. If you want to, you can put your TG, TGP on that bunker and you'll see where my bomb's going to hit. And I, I'm going to put it between the bunker and that tower right in the middle of the road and hope the blast effects will take care of a lot more than just if I hit just the truck or the IFV. Two, copy. We will be coming off the target to the right. If we were to turn left, that would put us in towards the uh, enemy anti-aircraft batteries, SAM batteries. 
you want me to laze for you? Nah, I'll get it. Have you noticed the di have you noticed the dynamic weather we have where it's clear at the base when we get over here in the clouds? I have. It's pretty neat the way Eddie does that. I'm looking forward to my frame being able to render it a little better. We'll be checking right in just a moment and we'll be making a hard right. We got an enemy aircraft at 150 miles at 30,000 feet. All right, checking right, hard now. I'll give you a heading as I complete my turn. Go, Buster. Wing level at three four zero. Six point three miles per target. Be tough for me to see missile streaks through these clouds. Go to white hot. Oh yeah, yeah, you missile streaks. But if you want to look at the target, go to white hot, and you can look through the clouds. Pickle. Lazing. Off to the right, 30 degrees. Two good effects on target. See how I took out both of those uh, vehicles because I put my bomb in the middle. Of oh, yeah, I see secondary explosion. Shack. Two BDA report coming. <clears throat> Say again? I'm going to give you a BDA report. We're not going over towards the airport, I can guarantee you that. No, a bomb damage assessment report. <clears throat> yeah. See on that one bomb, if you go over and look at totals, I got nine destroyed. To that day firm, I don't think anything's left alive. I don't think so. That one bomb took care of all the infantry, everybody. All right, come to heading 070, bring your ITT back to 700. We're going to descend to 9,000, descending now on the heading of 070. In a few mo moments, I'm going to give you a target that you can take care of. All right, I think they're BMPs. There should be three or four of them on that road. You can scan, you can pick you out one. You want to use Mavericks or you want to use a GBU-12, it's up to you. We'll go in, cover shooter. Two's rolling out on the heading of 360. 
Two, I'm gonna try and do double Mavericks. I figured you would. I was sitting here, I said, I bet he picks two Mavericks. <laughs> two, I'm gonna try and bracket them. The two on the outside. And two, we are 15 miles out. Two, I've got a lock. Four to one, two, rifle. Rifle. Breaking left. Yep, there you go. I think I can get a shot off. Two, four I think I went one. for one and three, so you need two and four. Ford one rifle. One go. Two, one went uh, south, and one is going e west, east. If you had two A-10 shooting at you, wouldn't you get out of dodge? Two, that's A-firm. Two, I think your Maverick hit the same target as mine. Yep, I think my, when I locked on, you know how sometimes when you have targets close in proximity, it'll, the uh, crosshairs will jump to the one that you don't want yeah that's what happened to me i was going for one and four and i got one and three yep that, that happened i got one maverick left i'll come back around and two i copy one is right by a tree one is still nearby the road to the south yeah we'll have to come around ford one one inbound from the east with maverick Ford one, rifle, off to the left. I won't miss that sucker. I'll be coming to a heading of one nine or zero will be the reference heading. Wings level one nine zero. Shack. Two, you got eyes on that other one? Two negative, but I can look for him. I know where about he went. Get eyes on him, I'm gonna let you take him out. Two, where did this guy run to? Yeah, he's a scared little. Two, I got triple A, two o'clock. It's pinging me, but it's not firing at me yet. Turn right. I'm in rain up here. Two, I've got him. Two, change your course. Warning, Go ahead and autopilot. Three six zero. You're venturing way to the far to the left. There's some Sams that sitting back over that way. 
See that lake in front of you? Go to the right side of that lake. Two, I copy. I've got a spee on my target now. I'm going to climb to 10,000. Triple A, triple A, break right, break right, triple A, break right, break right, hard, hard. Come to a heading of zero nine zero. Two, I think that's my target. That's a Shilka that we're that might have been a bunch of Shilkas we killed. Good thing. Too far away to see him. Twenty seconds. Don't you just love it when a plan come together? Two pickle. Breaking right, thirty degrees. Fifteen seconds. Oh, get the laser. Two lazing. Two target is shacked. Fantastic. Continue your turn to the right. Come to a heading of zero nine zero. Get down. Two, you copy one. Two, I do now. Yeah, I've had a complete failure of all my electronics in my airplane. Two. Laziani, Ford, 1-1, one, one. turning right base, 3-2. Gear down, flaps down. Yeah, I lost radios, all my MFCDs, everything's gone. HUD, everything. Baziani, Ford, 1 2, right base, gear down, full stop, runway 3 2. Let that happen while we're here at home. Yeah, no kidding. Luciani, Alamo, 2-2, two, two, right base, gear down, full stop, runway 3-2. Altitude, altitude, 